It's the end of the year rush at the state house. Lawmakers are working feverishly to take action on a number of bills before the holidays and New Year begins. But progressive groups, usual allies of Governor Murphy and the Democrats controlling both chambers of the legislature, say they're frustrated by a failure of the administration to move through their top political priorities. Some question whether those policies will be left behind now that the progressive base is no longer needed for election purposes. With issues like prescription drug affordability and insurance rates unfairly targeting persons of color stalling in Trenton, today advocates put pressure on the assembly to take on that auto insurance matter, stopping the use of practice they say significantly overcharge people of color and low-income drivers. Senior correspondent Joanna Gagas reports. You would think that your car insurance rates would be based solely on your driving record. Assemblywoman Annette Quijano was joined by several legislators and advocates today calling on the assembly to pass a bill that would change the way auto insurance rates are calculated. Car insurance companies use education, occupation, employment status, home ownership status, marital status, and credit scores. These factors have nothing to do with a person's driving record and only serve to create a two-tier system that punishes poor and working class New Jerseyans. Someone with poor credit and a low paying job could pay up to four times more than a person with a four-year degree and a high salary. If you have excellent credit, you pay a premium of 842 for basic liability coverage, but if you have only fair credit, you're gonna pay $542 more and poor credit, a whopping $1,311 more. Add in a person's zip code and the disparities widen. In West Orange, zip code 07052. If you have poor credit, you could be charged $2,540. In Trenton, zip code 08618. If you have poor credit, you could be charged nearly $3,000. And in Newark, if you have, uh, you're in zip code 07106, poor credit, $3,377 surcharge. These factors just mean that lower income drivers, namely blacks and Hispanics, will have to pay high rates. It is a form of systemic racism that continues to create economic hardship. The Senate took up this issue in the last session, passing a bill that would prohibit insurance companies from using socioeconomic factors that have nothing to do with a driver's record. Several states have recently passed similar laws, but the bill's gotten no movement in the assembly, despite several members calling for its support, including many from the Legislative Black Caucus. This legislation can put $600 upwards into the pockets of people who live in urban communities. But insurance companies have lobbied hard against any changes, defending these rate calculation factors, which were only allowed here in New Jersey starting in 2003. They have all been proven to be actuarially justified. Uh, they are predictive of risk and they are not unfairly discriminatory. And if they were, Doby, the Department of Banking and Insurance, would ensure that those factors were not used. We reached out to the Department of Banking and Insurance for comment, but haven't yet heard back. Nearly 30 advocacy organizations sent a letter to Dobie last spring, and they say they've gotten no response from the department either. And the governor's office offered no comment on any pending legislation. Christine O'Brien says by changing the rate calculations, it would cause a big shift in cost for everyone. We oppose the elimination of any use of rating variables. We think that these bills are a slippery slope. If you are start to chip away at a formula basically that's been working in New Jersey that makes insurance as readily available and as affordable as possible. One insurance company that supports this legislation spoke to us on background saying insurance is a multi-billion dollar industry that has little interest in adjusting its profit margins, but that by making insurance more affordable, Hundreds of thousands more drivers could enter the marketplace, helping to drive costs down. Some of the advocacy groups here today will be meeting with Assembly Speaker Craig Coughlin at the start of the new year to hopefully gain some traction on this bill. The speaker told us he continues to review the bill and its impact on all car insurance ratepayers. In Trenton, I'm Joanna Gagas, NJ Spotlight News.